Martin. Good morning to you all. Uh, we're going to be telling you something about Gerrier. Uh, we're also recording this for our YouTube channel. Uh, so it's uh, hopefully going to be on there in a, a few days' time. Uh, we're doing assemblies today and tomorrow. And the idea is to give everybody a bit of background information about the island. Uh, some of you may have had contact with us before. Uh, I've noticed one or two familiar faces around, although you've grown considerably since the last time I saw you. Um, so, without any more further ado, I'm going to uh, be asking a number of different questions today. And uh, so let's start off by saying, um, what is Jerry and what's the importance of it? Well, Jerry means the Jersey language, something called Jerry. We are Jerry, right. Jersey people, and actually, Jerry is the Jersey language. Now, there's a problem with English. Now, if you're in Wales, what's the language of Wales, the traditional language of Wales? You don't speak of our minority, Welsh. The Isle of Man, the language is Manx. Uh, if, if you're in France, French. If you're in uh, Wallonia, it's Walloon. Um, but if you're in Jersey, what do you call the language of Jersey? Jersey. It's Jersey language, anyway. So it's Jersey. And that's part of the problem. English people arrived because 100 years ago, um, <laughs> Most of the island was Gerier speaking. A hundred years ago, the town had become majority English speaking. But it was still before the occupation <coughs> that Jersey was still a majority Gerier speaking country, a Gerier speaking <coughs> island. Because most of the country parishes, a majority of people were still Gerier speaking. But the numbers of Gerier speakers have diminished, fewer and fewer of us around. <coughs> But we're trying to do our best to promote the island's identity because it's something special about Jersey. The English speakers arrived, they couldn't tell the difference between Jerry and French, they didn't have a word for something belonging to Jersey, so they said, oh, it's Jersey French, which confuses a lot of people. Okay. How many people um, might there still be who speak Jerry in Jersey? It might be around 3% <coughs> of the population. So we're talking a couple of thousand? It's something like that. But how many people could speak Jerry? Well, how many, how many could speak it? I would guess the whole population could speak it if they wanted to. Uh, everyone could speak a few words. In fact, practically everyone already knows some words of Jerry. Even if they don't know, if it's Jerry words, which they know. For example? Uh, for example, we'll see some place names later on. Yeah. Okay. And uh, there are some other words for some traditions, which people know, and they don't necessarily realize it's Jerry. Okay, and presumably people will have seen some of the signage around with um, farewells at the airport. Yeah, I've got an example up here. If you come into St. Helier along the avenue, you'll see a welcome sign, Sailie Bavenue, and the parish of St. Helier and other parishes have got some signs up in Jerry. Uh, the central one, not so, good, not so easy to see, is in the Royal Square, uh, uh, a memorial to Wace. Jersey's first poet, the man who was the first mention, the first person to mention that King Arthur had a round table. And the other picture is some um, from the Ice Stedford, with some of the Gerrier uh, boys and girls taking part last week. Okay, now you were talking about place names. Can we have a slide change, please? So we've um, got a number of different objects from geography here. So what's the name, Mr. Gerrier? Right. And Koti, and Koti. We have a special word in Jersey for those very steep, sloping fields. Now, a lot of people know that they're called Kotis, and they have no idea that it's a Jerry word. I've had people say, oh, I was talking about Kotis to someone, and they had no idea what I was talking about. Because uh, they were English, or they were walking around somewhere, and they didn't know that it was a, a Jerry word. Okay. Some, some people think it's French, but it isn't. Your next one, I know that and places like that. And, and grève is a beach, which is a different word from the French word. I bet you all know the French word for beach. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take that for granted. Yes. <laughs> Did you know that grève <coughs> is the Gerio word for beach? And that's why grève de lettre and grève de lettre are called that one. Something to know about Jersey that perhaps you didn't know. Now, we've got a school called Le Rocci. Only for some strange reason, people don't pronounce it in the proper Jerio way. They call it Le Rocchier. It's Le Rocchier. It helps if, it, if you use modern Spanish. 
that Le Roche, the name of the school, actually means something. Le Roche are rocks. Le Roche is the rock, or the rocky place. And presumably everybody knows about the name of this one. Haute <laughs> Valle. Haute Valle. Is that not Algeria? That's Algeria. Well, I'm saying it in an Algerian way. You could pronounce it in a French way, I suppose. But one of the differences between French and Algeria is we've got a H. Huh. So that's why we say Haute Valle. And we talk about Hoya. Hoya, the high place. And Haute Que, the high crosses. And the other secondary school that we haven't mentioned, Le Chenve. Le Chenve. Le Chenve means something. Uh, I wonder if anyone knows what Le Chenve, that's the proper pronunciation, by the way. Does anyone know what Le Chenve means? Like, is the hand going up anywhere? None. Not one? Nobody knows what Le Chenve means? <coughs> means the hemp fields. <laughs> they used to grow hemp fields, don't they? <laughs> now, you may wonder why they were growing hemp. But in the old days, of course, Jersey, they built sailing ships. And for sailing ships, they needed ropes made of hemp fibre, canvas sails made from hemp, and think of the English word canvas. It's related to the word chenbe, and of course also to the word cannabis, which is the Latin. So English, Algeria, and Latin. It all tells you something about how things go together, <coughs> the history of the island, and the history of places. Okay. Les Miel. Now people may even know roads which have that in places, houses, les miel. Now that's a Jerry word, and that tells you something about our history. Because a miel is one of our Norse words, one of our <coughs> Viking words. How come? The How Vikings, come Viking words? next year we're celebrating 1,100 years of the foundation of the Duchy of Normandy. Actually, Jersey wasn't added until 933. But in 911, the Vikings came along beat the French, and founded a Duchy of Normandy. They had a bit, including Jersey, a few years later. But they settled, they called places, they called their Norse language, and in Jerry, we've got some of these Norse words, like miel, a sand dew. And that's from Norse miel. Other words we've got uh, from Norse include hook, a mound, as in hook me. And there are other words in Jere, like uh, uh, gradient, black colours, which also come from Norse. 